The clock ticking from the moment the Ebola virus enters the body. The disease not easy to contract, only carried in bodily fluids, blood, saliva, mucus, sweat, tears, semen, vomit, urine, or feces. And it can only enter the body through direct contact with cuts or abrasions on the skin or through the eyes, nose, mouth, throat, or reproductive organs. People can also get infected when eating meat from or coming in contact with contaminated animals. The virus can survive several hours in a dried state on doorknobs or countertops. If the fluid remains wet and at room temperature, it can survive for days outside the body. Most people get it through contact with bodily fluids of patients or the deceased. But when is someone with Ebola actually contagious? The short answer, when they start to show symptoms. Those symptoms, though, can take from 2 to 21 days to kick in. In other words, a person could travel and interact with others for days, weeks, without passing on the virus. The average incubation period is 8 to 10 days. The early symptoms of the disease, fever, weakness, muscle pain, headache, and sore throat are often mistaken for the flu, malaria, typhoid fever, or dysentery. But then things get worse. Vomiting, bloody diarrhea, often internal and external bleeding, skin rashes, and purple spots on the skin. Once the symptoms set in, the person is contagious and has 6 to 16 days to either beat the virus or die. The death rate, high, 50 to 90% chance of death depending on the strain and access to medical care. If an infected patient with a strong immune system gets proper care, the chance of surviving goes up. But if they survive, the virus could remain in the semen for up to three months. And if you survive, you have immunity for at least 10 years. But what's still unknown, if you're immune from other strains of Ebola. Answers and questions for a frightening disease.